Hello, welcome to the PBSL Group. This is a model that we've set up to give you an idea of where the sections of your eaves actually go. So where the fascia boards go, where the soffit boards go, what is a barge board, what the corner and joints are used for, and the various terms that are used in the building trade. So if we start with the fascia boards, there are two distinct types of PVC fascia. One is a standard fascia board called sometimes jumbo, sometimes mammoth, various, various different trade terms are used for it. The important thing is the board thickness and it's usually somewhere between 16 and 25 mil. And that means it's strong enough to go directly straight onto the rafter ends. It's nailed through straight onto the rafters and it's strong enough to support your guttering, even if that guttering is full of rain and snow. So that's an important distinction. The other type of fascia board is known as a cover board or a capit board. It's only nine mil thick. It isn't strong enough to go directly onto the rafters and support your gutter. It needs a timber backing board. So it's quite often used in a refurbishment situation when a board needs painting and uh, it perhaps is showing some signs of rot. So the rot is removed, uh, the timber is made good and then the cover board is put over the top. So that's the two types of fascia boards. The board underneath that returns from the front of the fascia back to the wall is called a soffit board. It's non-structural, it just closes the gap off, usually 10 mil thick and it can be plain or vented depending on how the architect or the builder chooses to ventilate your roof. The board that comes down the gable end is called the barge board and it's usually the same as the fascia board although the actual size can be different. The name given to the intersection between the fascia here and the barge board coming down here is a box end. The box end is probably the most technical detail on the eaves and we'll show you how to construct that in another video. The other sections that make up the eave section, joiners to cover the gap where two fascia boards join and obviously corners on the corner joints. It's important to recognise that you never butt two boards directly up together. You always leave a 10 mil gap for expansion because PVC does expand slightly along its length in warmer conditions. So on a nice summer's day, then the fascia boards will move probably about five mil each board. So you should always leave a 10 mil gap and the corner will, uh, and joiner trims will actually cover that gap. Those are the basic terms that you'll need to find your way around a roofline system. A lot more information on our website, which is www.pvccladding.com. If you have any specific queries, do get in touch and we'll do our best to help you out. Thanks for watching.